everybody, this is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ and I am also a prayer warrior. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is the 22nd of August, 2020. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Summer is over. My daughter starts school on Monday. I cannot believe it. She is going to be going to uh, going to be a junior in high school, and they're starting out here in Texas. They're starting the kids out online, and then on the eighth of September, uh, if the if you if you want the child to, or uh, if my daughter wants to, she can go back to the school and go face to face. So she doesn't know really what she wants to do yet. So um, so, but we are starting on Monday. Um, we're going over the book of Proverbs. We're on chapter 22 out of the contemporary English version. <clears throat> Before I get started, I wanted to tell you that um, if, if you don't already know, I'm a hairstylist at Supercuts. And yesterday at work, uh, they hired a new girl. She just fresh out of beauty school. Um, and But we were trying to, we were watching these videos on really clever artistic uh, designers that do hair in a very um, artistic way. And so I thought, you know, my hair is really long. Let's just try something and see if it ha what happens. And unfortunately, it didn't go that well. And um, so I ha got a haircut and, uh, you know, I'm starting school and myself in, uh, on September 9th. And so um, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with my hair yet, but he knows, praise God. So, and he knows every hair on her head. All right. So the book of Proverbs chapter 22. A good reputation and respect are worth much more than silver and gold. The rich and the poor are all created by the Lord. When you see trouble coming, don't be stupid and walk right into it. Be smart and hide. Respect and serve the Lord. Your reward will be wealth, a long life, and honor. Crooks walk down a road full of thorny traps. Stay away from there. Teach your children right from wrong. And when they are grown, they will still do right. The poor are ruled by the rich, and those who borrow are slaves of money lenders. Troublemakers get in trouble, and their terrible anger will get them now nowhere. The Lord blesses everyone who freely gives food to the poor. Arguments and fights will come to an end if you chase away those who insult others. The king is the friend of all who are sincere and speak with kindness. The Lord watches over everyone who shows good sense, but he frustrates the plans of deceitful liars. Don't be so lazy that you say, if I go to work, a lion will eat me. The words of a bad woman are like a deep pit. If you make the Lord angry, you will fall right in. All children are foolish, but firm correction will make them change. Cheat the poor to make profit or give gifts to the rich. Either way, you lose. Here are some sayings of people with wisdom, so listen carefully as I teach. You will be glad that you know these sayings and can recite them. I am teaching them today so that you may trust the Lord. I have written 30 sayings filled with sound advice. You can trust them completely to give you the right words for those in charge of you. Don't take advantage of the poor or cheat them in court. The Lord is their defender and what you do to them, he will do to you. Don't make friends with anyone who has a bad temper. You might turn out like them and get caught in a trap. Don't guarantee to pay someone else's debt. If you don't have the money, you might lose your bed. Don't move a boundary marker set up for by your ancestors. If you do well, if you do your job well, you will work for a ruler and never be a slave. In Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Those are six great sayings. Uh, six wise sayings. Have a good evening. Have a good day, depending what time you watch this video. If you've never seen these videos before and you like them, I read a lot of the book of Proverbs because the word is the lamp to our feet and the light for our path. The word of Proverbs is full of wisdom, full of knowledge, full of understanding, full of correction, full of fear of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I also read a lot of Psalms because Psalms will pray for you when you don't know what to be praying for. I love you. Jesus loves us even more. Remember Jesus Christ. He is Lord and our souls are well. Bye now.